In this video, I'm gonna show you how to export a video with transparency in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, and I'm even gonna show you how to export transparent GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it, within Photoshop. Here's all the time codes if you're looking to do this in a specific program. I'll also have it in the chapters along the play bar as well. Without further ado, let's dive right in. In After Effects, if you're dealing with green screen footage like this simple animation, all you have to do is go to Effects and Presets, type in Key Light. I'm going to drag that onto my video footage right here. Go to Screen Color, select the green. Now it's black in the background, but in order to see this transparent layer, all we have to do is go down to this toggle transparency grid, and you can see that this is now transparent. In order to export this video with the transparency, we want to go to File, Export. And first, I'm going to show you Render Queue. So I'm going to add it to Render Queue. For render settings, we're going to want to choose best settings and in output module in the drop down menu, there's this lossless with alpha, which is exactly what you would want to export this with alpha. But if you don't have this available to you, click on the lossless right here that will bring up your output module settings underneath format. We want to make sure that it's QuickTime. Next, you want to make sure that in the format options under video codec that you're choosing animation. With animation selected, I'm going to go to the channels drop down menu and RGB plus alpha is exactly what you want to export the video with a transparent layer like this. And that's it for exporting from the render queue inside After Effects. Here's what a final result looks like. Now let's move on to how to do this in Premiere Pro. To accomplish the same exact outcome that we did in After Effects in Premiere, I'm gonna go to my effects window or shift seven on the keyboard, type in ultra key, drag that onto my footage, hit shift five to bring up my effects controls, click the color and to showcase that the background is now transparent and not black. Let me bring in this footage underneath and you can tell that it is transparent on top of the video footage. Let me delete that really quick. Going to bring this down to track one, highlight my footage, hit the question mark key to create my brackets, go to file, export media. The first thing that we want to change is in the format drop down menu. We're going to go down to QuickTime. I'm going to ignore the preset for right now and go all the way down to video codec. Instead of Apple ProRes 422Q, we want to go up to animation, which is the same codec that we were choosing inside After Effects. In the basic video settings, you might change your width and height and other things of that nature. This is completely dependent on your project, but I'm going to keep these as is. But the big thing that we want to make sure that we check off in this box is 8 bits per channel plus alpha. I'm going to click that and this will allow us to export with that transparency in the file. One thing you should not check off is down here, the rendered alpha channel only. Make sure that's unchecked because that won't give you the kind of export that you're looking for. With those settings, now we can hit export. As you can see from this example, it's working as intended. Now let's move over to Media Encoder. With the same After Effects project that I was working with earlier in the video, I'm going to go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Underneath in the first format drop down menu, instead of H.264, we want to make sure that it's QuickTime like we did before. And at this point, I want to click that QuickTime. And now I can go through the same thing that I just did inside Premiere Pro and set this up as an animation. I would go down here to video codec, go to animation, scroll down, do eight bits per channel plus alpha and hit OK. And if I were to export this, it would export exactly how we did with the first two examples in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Now let's switch over to Photoshop and change our transparent videos into transparent GIFs. Here inside Photoshop, I'm going to go to open and bring in the same file that already has transparency on it. After importing the transparent video into Photoshop, we can now go to file, export, save for web legacy. And there's a bunch of parameters that you could change here in order to optimize your GIFs. But the big one that I want to point out for just this example is the transparency and making sure that it is checked. That way it will include the transparency in the GIF file. I'm going to hit save. Now, if I were to go to that subscribe dash Photoshop slash GIF and open with Google Chrome, you can see here that it's a transparent GIF within the web browser. And here's that same transparent GIF on top of a video. For the bulk of this video, I've been showcasing to you how to export transparent video only using one Kodak, and that's the QuickTime animation video Kodak. But just like with anything in video editing, there's a lot of ways to do things. So for this next section, let me give you some other options that may be better in your particular situation in terms of different video codecs or different file formats in which you can still achieve transparent video exports. Whether you're 
we're exporting from Premiere Pro or we've sent something to Media Encoder, what we can do now is again, go to Format. We wanna make sure that it's QuickTime again. Underneath the preset, I wanna showcase to you some of these other options available. You can export with GoPro SceneForm with the alpha, or you could do Apple ProRes 4444 with alpha. Both of these codecs will allow you to export with the alpha. If we were inside Premiere Pro, if I hit Command M, again, I want to hit Format, go to QuickTime, and underneath the preset, again, we have the Apple ProRes 4444 with alpha, or the GoPro Scene Form with alpha, or we could go down to Video Codec and select Apple ProRes 4444, or go down to GoPro Scene Form. I'll click this one, and what you would wanna do is scroll down and RGBA 12 bits per channel plus alpha, and again, with the Apple ProRes format, you would wanna scroll down and do depth, eight bits per channel plus alpha, or you could do 16 bits per channel plus alpha. The thing I would like to point out though, with all these different formats and codecs and however you export your video as a transparent video is the file size. If I were to sort this by file size, here we have everything that I showed you earlier in the video. This is with that animation video codec. All of these file sizes are smaller than if you were to use GoPro scene form 12 bit or the Apple ProRes. What is also interesting to note though, is that I can't play the files right here inside the Finder on my Mac. This may be different in Windows, but all of my Apple ProRes exports, I'm able to just hit the space bar and see a preview of that video directly on the Finder, which is kind of convenient depending on your situation if you have a lot of assets that you need to be able to view from the Finder. Two other ways that may be commonly used to achieve this type of transparent video isn't exactly exporting a video per se, it's actually exporting a sequence of transparent images like .pngs or .tiffs. And to show you that in After Effects, you would go to File, Export, and I'm just gonna do it inside the render queue right here. In the drop down menu, there's TIFF sequence with alpha, which will give you a sequence of images with the alpha layer. And also, if I click on the loss list, we could go to PNG sequence, go to the channels, RGB plus alpha. Again, if I were to render this, it's going to render a picture for every single frame of your composition. And inside your finder, this is what it would look like. It's just a numbered sequence. My PNG sequence is 28 megabytes and my TIFF sequence is 3.19 gigabytes, which is significantly bigger than all of these other formats that I showed you earlier in the video. If you wanna import these image sequences as footage inside Premiere Pro, all you'd need to do is go to File, Import, find that footage, and click the very first frame where you would like the footage to start. I'm gonna go down to Options, and make sure that image sequence is selected. Now it's going to treat this sequence as if it's a video footage and fill in every single image to a frame, depending on what your frames per second is when you import it. So I'm gonna hit import. Here we can see that it's taken those PNG images and I could go to modify interpret footage and make this as long or short as I want to by correcting this to something like 24 frames per second. So now it's going to take 24 of those images and put them in every single second. I drag this onto my timeline and we get the same exact asset that we were looking at before, but now it's just a PNG sequence acting as footage on the timeline. If the plethora of ways that I just explained how to do transparent video and also GIFs was somewhat of a help to you, then please leave me a thumbs up on the video, leave me a comment down below on what you want me to tutorialize next in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, all of the things. And there's probably a video over here that you should click. You could click it and I'll see you in the next video. My name's Javier Mercedes. Hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.